What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV, bringing you the best of all things gaming each and every day. Today we've got two videos for you. The first has already come out. It was on my first impressions of Blackjack. It featured my very first gameplay ever using Blackjack, and I actually completed the side bet challenge that we're talking about today in that video. That will be linked in the description box below, the very first link, or you can click on the card in the top right corner. There will be a link to it there, as well as links to the live stream from the other day and some other cool and cool videos that you might be interested in. So today we're back on COD Challenged. This is a series where we look at some of the harder challenges in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and I teach you guys a little bit how how to get those challenges done a little bit easier or quicker or without as much hassle. So there is a very special challenge that comes with Blackjack. Basically, if you did not know, Blackjack requires two weekly contracts to be completed before you can use him, and then you get him for 60 minutes. So the two weekly co weekly contracts are not that difficult to complete. It's basically just wins and score, which is something that can be done very simply, and uh, there's nothing really to talk about there. But once you unlock Blackjack, there is a side bet challenge that you have to complete within the 60 minutes of time that you get to play with him. So when you actually go on to Blackjack's specialist menu when you go on to the uh, personalization menu the hits hit the same button as you do for any other specialist when you go to customize another specialist hit the same button for blackjack you don't get to customize them you get a side bet menu instead and you're given a special challenge there are six challenges to complete but you only get one for each use of blackjack so even the best of us the best of the best is going to take us six weeks to complete all of the challenges earn all six calling cards and the mastery the blackjack mastery calling cards so it is going to be a little bit of a grind it's going to be a weight more than a grind i should say but it's a super easy challenge once you wrap your head around it it's much like the hero gear challenges of old where we had to get four to six kills with a single uh, in a single game four to six times uh just based on whatever specialist weapon or ability you were using same sort of deal with blackjack i will tell you what the challenge is for week one and week two i do believe is going to be the same challenge maybe they'll change it after that but i highly doubt it it seems like a challenge that we're gonna have to do six times just repetitively after after each blackjack use but the first challenge for the smoky calling card which you're seeing in the gameplay uh, on my character and it was also the calling card that you saw on the thumbnail of this video the smoky calling card requires four kills in a single game using two or more different specialist abilities or weapons while playing as blackjack now that seems like a mouthful basically what you have to do use specialist weapons weapons or abilities and get four kills in a single game you have 60 minutes to complete this. However, there is a little bit of a catch. You can't get all four kills with a single weapon. So if you pick up a sparrow, you can't get four kills with the sparrow and be done. You gotta get four kills with the sparrow and one other kill if you did four kills with the sparrow. Basically, you just have to get four kills, but they have to be spread between at least two different weapons. Now it can be weapons or abilities, so that means you can use rogue or gambler, both of those being the specialist abilities of the of the blackjack but i would recommend rogue and that's why we're going to talk about rogue for the rest of this video we're not really going to talk about gambler too much because gambler i find is too hard to use basically what gambler does if you still haven't unlocked blackjack or if you still haven't heard gambler is the is the specialist abilities side of blackjack where the charge is a lot faster than any other specialist ability in the game but once you earn it it's a completely random specialist ability you never know what you're going to get and you do get the option of switching it up again, but again, you still don't know what you're going to get. So it's 110% random what you're going to get for your gambler ability, and that is really tough to work with when you're trying to get four kills in a single game while using those abilities. So the rogue ability, which allows you to earn enemy specialist weapons, is going to be a lot easier to, to, do, to use to complete this challenge. So... We're not going to be attempting blackjack contracts until we're comfortable with every other specialist weapon in the game. Let me get that let me get that across right now. This is basically a hero gear challenge, but it's a hero gear for every specialist weapon at the same time. So you got to be comfortable with using anything that you pick up. Yes, you do get a little bit of a choice in what weapon you want to use, but you don't want to wait around waiting for the perfect weapon forever. You're going to want to use your specialist weapon right away the second that you earn it with rogue. So don't wait around trying to find the perfect weapon weapon just make sure you're comfortable with every weapon and use whatever you get first 
So the challenge itself, incredibly easy. Once you're used to a lot of all the other weapons, once you're used to how Blackjack works too, and once you've figured out the best weapons that you're most comfortable with, you're going to have a very, very easy time with completing this challenge. So Blackjack, he earns his rogue ability a lot faster than any other specialist can earn any ability in the entire game as long as you are doing it correctly. The rogue ability does not charge based on objectives. You can't charge it from standing on objectives. You can't charge it from getting uh, from getting score. You can only charge it from getting kills on enemies. That's the only way you can charge the rogue ability. And how you're going to do that is get five kills and your rogue ability is charged, you get to use a specialist weapon. So every time you get a bloodthirsty, it doesn't have to be in the same life, just every time you get five kills, you're going to get a new specialist weapon to use. Now you can kill another enemy on top of that and switch out and get a second specialist weapon until you pick the right specialist weapon that you want to use. But really, like I said, if you're comfortable with every specialist weapon in the game anyways, just get your five kills and use your specialist weapon as soon as you possibly can. And then you'll start earning your five kills to, the, to your next rogue ability to using another specialist weapon. So it does not require score. It does not charge over time. Get five kills and get your specialist weapons. So obviously you'll have to be pretty good at the game to do this. You're gonna wanna get five kills w pretty quickly. So make sure you're using a weapon you're comfortable with, a class you're comfortable with, and uh, just make sure you're good at the game. Like I said, you wanna be comfortable with all the other specialists and you're just gonna, gonna wanna be comfortable in everything in this game before you attempt your blackjack contracts. Blackjack, I've said before, he definitely seems like he's made for the professional players. He's definitely made for players that have experience in the game already. So just make sure you are one of those experienced players before going out and trying to do this because you only have 60 minutes to get this done. Make sure you're on your best before you go out and try this. So what was the first thing you noticed about the rogue ability? If you're not sure what I'm getting at, I literally just told you it requires five kills to charge. In other words, the more kills you get, the more often you can use specialist weapons to complete the side bet. There's one other thing that you should take from this, though, and that it requires kills to earn. So you're obviously not going to want to play a game mode where once you hit a certain amount of kills, the game ends. You're going to want to play a game mode that is 110% objective based so that you're not worried about the objective, but the game will last longer and you can get tons and tons of kills without ever having to worry about hitting the, the kill count, the kill cap, or whatever it is, like Team Deathmatch. You hit 100 kills, game's over. You're going to want to play a game mode where you can go more and you can get a lot more kills than that. So, play objective-based game modes. Domination is good. Hard points a little bit better. Safeguard is probably your best bet because some safeguard games, if they go into overtime, can take like 20 minutes to complete. So make sure you're playing an objective-based game that's going to be long and tedious and just 110% objective-based. You do not want to get too many kills and end the game too early. You want to play a game mode that's going to keep going on forever regardless of how many kills you're getting. Now, like I said, avoid the objective. You're playing in objective mode, but avoid the objective. Go off on your own and start start your slaughter because that is the number one thing you care about. Don't waste your time standing on objectives and trying to do things with your team. No, you're the slayer now. You gotta go out and you gotta get those five kills if you wanna get your specialist weapons earned. One other game mode recommendation I would have before we move on is to play Ground War. Ground War, there are three extra enemies to attack, giving you uh, giving you the ability to earn your rogue quicker. It's going to give you a better choice of specialist weapons once you have your rogue, and it's going to give you a better chance of getting kills with those specialist weapons once you have those specialist weapons equipped. When it comes to a class build, I would recommend that you do something passive. What I mean by that is a weapon that you can get kills with, that you can still slay with, but you want to be at longer ranges. And why you want to do that is, like I said, once you get your five kills, you're going to want to use your specialist weapon as fast as you possibly can. You're going to want to use it right now. You're not going to want to wait and use it later. If you're using an SMG or something rushing and you're right up in the enemy's face and you're right up in their grill and you get a stupid specialist weapon and you try to use that, you might waste it and you don't want to do that. So you're going to want to use something a little bit more longer ranged. I'm not very comfortable with the M887, but I used it and I did get quite a few rogue abilities uh, unlocked in this gameplay and in other gameplays that you're going to see either today or tomorrow uh, in my videos. So M87, great weapon for this. Man of War maybe too. Like something that's longer ranged. Think of assault rifles. Think of maybe LMGs. Don't go SUVs. Uh, SUVs. <laughs> SMGs and stuff like that. You're not going to want to be at close range when you're trying to earn this and get this challenge done. 
So when it gets to the actual usage of enemy specialist weapons, pick weapons that you're really comfortable with. If you can never get a kill with the Annihilator, don't use the Annihilator if you get it. Just kill another guy, get a different weapon, and switch to that one. That being said, there is one weapon that you should use above all else. Like, even if you're not comfortable with it, use it anyways because it is this god mode with Blackjack and trying to get this challenge done. The Hive is a stationary fire and forget specials weapon that you can earn kills with while ranking up to your next rogue. If you were not sure, specials weapon kills do not count towards your next rogue. So if you, say, earn a Tempest and you start getting kills with your Tempest, it doesn't count for your next rogue. You have to wait until that specials weapon is gone and then start getting kills with your regular weapons again to earn your next rogue. So you don't want to so you want to use the hive it's this the best because you can fire all six things on the ground they can start getting you kills for your challenge while you get kills to earn your next rogue ability so hive is just the best always use hive if you get it while we're talking about what doesn't count towards your rogue ability lethal score streaks won't help you out in the slightest so switch them over to like uav cuav hater because you don't want to waste your precious time with blackjack or or your precious time in trying to get this challenge done on controlling score streaks just stop that don't use lethal score streaks whatever like switch to basically support score streaks and focus on using your actual weapons to get kills that's the only thing that's going to rank up your rogue is your own weapons that are in your hands so don't use lethal score streaks it's just going to be a waste of your time Finally, as far as the gameplay itself goes, once you have earned a weapon that you're used to, make sure you go stealth mode. You'll want to go for at least two kills with every specialist weapon that you get because you need four kills total and they have to be of two different specialist weapon uses. So you're going to want to go for at least two kills with each specialist weapon use. So you're not going to want to get a specialist weapon and then just run uh, balls to the wall straight at the enemy and try and get kills because no, you're going to get killed that way. You're going to want to use specialist weapons and or when you get your specialist weapon, you're going to want to sneak up around them, get in behind the enemies, find two enemies that are near each other and they're unaware of you. Use your specialist weapon and kill them both rapidly. There you go. You've got two out of your four and then just do that one more time with a different weapon and you're golden. Now you can get three and one. You can get you cannot get four and oh, actually, if you get four, you'd have to get one extra one with a different specialist weapon on top of that. But basically, you can just go ham and get a whole ton of specialist weapons in a single game and just get a bunch of kills and you're going to get this challenge done very easily taking into account all of what i said here it's very easy to get this challenge done once you wrap your head around it once you know what you're doing once you uh, are comfortable with all the other specialist weapons and all of that this is a very easy challenge to do i have i've probably completed it about three times if only you could do the challenge multiple times in a single week I could probably get the blackjack, uh, the blackjack mastery calling card before my blackjack even expires. My blackjack still isn't expired yet. I could probably get the mastery calling card before it expi before my blackjack expires. That's how easy this challenge is to get done. You just got to wrap your head around it. You got to get in the game. Make sure that you are on your game before using him because you only get 60 minutes. If you're playing like crap. You might want to switch to another specialist and make sure that you're you're getting into the zone. And then once you're in that zone, once you're going off, then switch to blackjack and get into a game and finish this up. I am going to be making a video tomorrow on how to make the most of your time with blackjack as well as two other blackjack themed videos. So make sure you come back for those. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you learned anything useful at all, you have now been imparted with all of my blackjack side bet knowledge it is a very easy challenge it's just like earning hero gear it seems daunting at first but once you get into the game once you really think about it it's not that tricky and you're gonna have an easy time of it so that is it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed the cod challenge video there will be more COD Challenge stuff coming up in the future. I uh, have one on getting the Depth Charge medals. I think it's called Gone Fishing. I'm just looking for a gameplay for that one right now. But there's going to be a lot more Call of Duty content and content of other kinds in the future. I know that I said I was going to do E3 coverage a little bit this week. And we haven't got to that yet just because of all the Blackjack crazy nonsense that's been happening. Like I said, there's like three more Blackjack videos to come out tomorrow. Just a ton of stuff going on right now. And I could not be more excited because it just means I get to make more videos and do the stuff that I love. And uh, I hope you guys are loving it too. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm starting to ramble a little bit. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you tomorrow.